The young master was stood up by his girlfriend and caused chaos on the plane. Suddenly the aircraft incident, he fell into the flight attendant. At this moment, everything started to descend into chaos. The plane was shaking so he was impossible to stand. Finally, he was shot by staff using a stun gun. But today was the opening day of his family's hotel. Parents were waiting for Byun Hyuk to appear, but at this time he was dead asleep. Luckily, he had someone who always helped him clean up the messes of life since childhood. Seeing Jae-hoon was like seeing a ray of hope in his life. After resolving everything, they rushed to the hotel. However, awaiting Byun Hyuk was the wrath of his father. Despite his mother's intervention, his father determined not to forgive his son. The situation seemed not good. Jae-hoon gave the stick to the chairman, but Byun Hyuk kept finding excuses and refused to admit his mistakes, causing director Hoon to kneel. Dad, you couldn't do that. He didn't do anything wrong, leaving you alone on the plane, it was his fault. That was my fault. Seeing Jae-hoon take the beating, Byun Hyuk quickly knelt and begged, so his father stopped. Today he remembered his girlfriend who he hadn't seen for a few days. Suddenly he heard the voice of his girlfriend and immediately rose to the surface. Chairi. That was Chairi's voice. Due to his impatience, Byun Hyuk carelessly dropped the wardrobe key. He had no choice so he temporarily took the staff clothes. The elevator stopped on the 33rd floor. He chased after it. The girlfriend was blaming the cleaning staff for the lost earring, but the opponent wasn't normal either. Unable to find common ground, they got into a never-ending battle. In Byun Hyuk's eyes, his girlfriend was like the heir. He not only didn't prevent her, but also surprised by the cleaning staff's strong personality. Her appearance directly changed the life of this playboy young man. Byun Hyuk watched the fight, instead of preventing her, he enjoyed the spectacle from the outside. Seeing the fierce of the cleaning staff, he had also to say wow. Just now, Byun Hyuk accidentally saw his girlfriend entering the hotel with another man, he quickly chased after her. At this moment she was scolding the cleaning staff because the earphone was missing. Byun Hyuk was disappointed when saw his girlfriend behave like, but Baek Jun wasn't easily bullied. If Chairi didn't have evidence, she couldn't slander others. In that manner, the two of them rushed towards each other. Fortunately, colleagues intervened in time to separate them. The manager glared at Baek Jun and required her to apologize the customer. She was so furious. But to keep this job, Baek Jun had to admit her mistake. But it was not convinced her so she dumped the trash bag on the ground. Are you crazy? That's right, I'm crazy. If you can't find the earring, I would compensate it. Of course, I'm crazy. How could I not be crazy when encountering someone like you? In the middle of the chaos, the boyfriend accidentally saw Byun Hyuk. He was scared and tried to run away, but carelessly stepped on the earring. Not having time to see what it was, he flicked it towards the arguing group. Seeing that, Baek Jun quickly stepped on the earring, then required the customer to apologize to her. Baek Jun was also considered to be helping Byun Hyuk relieve his anger. He didn't expect this girl to be so interesting. Chairi was so furious that she had to scream. The manager could only knee down and apologize. After seeing the behavior of the manager, Baek Jun forgave the unpleasant female customer. Before leaving, she didn't forget to kick the earring aside. Then she left with a confident demeanor. The manager immediately fired Baek Jun. Byun Hyuk proactively went to demand justice for her. The manager saw the waiter's clothes. She scolded Byun Hyuk not to go looking for trouble. And Baek Jun didn't want to keep working in this place. Two of them were arrogant. She was angry and asked the security guard to kick them out. She didn't know that the person she chased away was the youngest son of the hotel owner. When he returned to his hotel, the staff stopped him. Maybe everyone misunderstood because he wore the staff uniform. No matter how Byun Hyuk tried to explain, they wouldn't believe it, because the regulations that employees caused trouble weren't allowed to inside. So Byun Hyuk decided to reveal his true identity to scare them. It's true, why don't you believe me? I'm the son of Chairman Wang Kan Su, let me go, let me go. He was kicked out of the hotel, but money and a phone were left at the hotel. What should he do? When he was feeling helpless, he accidentally met Baek Jun again. Seeing colleague was injured, she was angry. Byun Hyuk explained that he was just talking to them for a little bit. Could you lend me your phone for a moment? My wallet and phone were both left at the hotel. They didn't let you inside to get things. That was harsh. Hey, let's use it. When Byun Hyuk received the phone, he didn't remember anyone's phone number. He was in trouble this time. On this side, Jae-hoon was looking for Byun Hyuk everywhere in the hotel. The manager couldn't believe that the person who she threw out was the chairman's son. This time she got herself into trouble. After inside the room, still didn't see Byun Hyuk anywhere. Then staff brought Byun Hyuk's clothes from the swimming pool to the room. Byun Hyuk usually caused trouble, but he wasn't crazy enough to wear a swimsuit and play around, so he checked the surveillance cameras. The manager was scared and quickly covered the screen. On this side, 
Baek Joon saw Byun Hyuk was so pitiful so she took him out to eat. Byun Hyuk was born with a silver spoon in his mouth so he has never eaten these dishes. But this was a delicious dish that Baek Joon only ate once in half a year. To make a good impression, he just tasted a little bit. After that, Baek Joon gave him money for the ride home. At this time, Byun Hyuk suddenly saw his disruption on the plane had been posted on the news sites. He was afraid to go home, so he quickly begged Baek Joon for a place to stay, promising to pay in full. As soon as he got home, he ate two bowls of hot instant noodles. Baek Joon! Could I eat another pack? That also needs to be asked. It was 7,001. Because you were cute, I took 6,001. When I get back the fee, I will return it all to you. Don't forget to pay 80,001 for accommodation. Okay. On this side, Jaehoon still couldn't find Byun Hyuk. Too helpless he had to go home alone. Baek Joon also came to find him, asking him to let Baek Joon stay at his house for one night. It turned out that they were close college friends. But Jaehoon didn't want a stranger to sleep at his house. Baek Joon had no choice so she had to use a last resort. At this time, Byun Hyuk's scream was heard downstairs. Two of them quickly went to check there. Jaehoon was surprised to see him in his house because he had been looking for him all day. Baek Joon mistook Byun Hyuk for a hotel employee so she saved him. Jaehoon is extremely worried about the sudden disappearance of Byun Hyuk. He went to the places were often frequented but still had no hope. Couldn't find him, Jaehoon had to go home. When he returned home, suddenly saw Byun Hyuk had been brought home by his best friend. What's the situation? Well, he is the person I mentioned, because his colleague was fired from the hotel. Colleagues? First time meeting. This is our first time meeting. Byun Hyuk said he was a cold person. I got it. Oh, that's how it was. Please let him sleep over for the night. Otherwise, I only take him back to my room. What are you saying? Really? Surely not. Men and women are different. Let's split his rent 50 to 50. Jaehoon only shakes his head. Then he helplessly took Byun Hyuk back to his room. Jaehoon wondered how he could come here. Byun Hyuk excitedly said perhaps this was fate, but was also very curious about his relationship with Baek Joon. Jaehoon was angry so he didn't care about Byun Hyuk. Are the two of you not dating? Jaehoon confusedly denied it. But why ask this? I felt Baek Joon likes me. Could it be? What? Otherwise, why did she treat me so well? Byun Hyuk confidently supposed that Baek Joon liked him. Jaehoon was angry. He wanted to kick this guy out the door. Byun Hyuk arrived at Baek Joon's place in the morning. One side was the girl given by fate. The other side was a girlfriend. Felt like this is truly a paradise. On this side, Jaehoon woke up and didn't see Byun Hyuk anywhere. He quickly went upstairs to find it. Afraid he bothered Baek Joon again, he used an excuse to chase him away. At this time, she suddenly saw the news that the chairman's son was causing trouble, and even saw Byun Hyuk on it. It's been tough for you, had to take care of the wanderer. Baek Joon was completely desperate. He didn't expect that in her eyes, he was just a wanderer. Baek Joon hated the most rich person's party and carousing. If he appeared in front of me, he would die. To change his image in Baek Joon's eyes, he decided to go find his father to resolve this matter. He saw Baek Joon delivering milk to the company and was bullied by a subordinate employee. He couldn't reveal his identity at this time, so he could only wait until the employee left and then held the bottle of milk to replace her took out on him. Why are you here? Wait a minute. Byun Hyuk without saying anything took the bottle and rushed straight into the employee's office. The leader was threatened to turn pale. From now on, he had to order milk three months in advance. Yes, sir. Sorry leader. Baek Joon thought Byun Hyuk had come to cause trouble so apologized to leader. Then she scolded Byun Hyuk in front of a surprised look from the leader. Baek Joon pulled Byun Hyuk outside and told him not to be a perfectionist in business. Why do you have so many wounds on your face? Did they beat you? Byun Hyuk's disruptive behavior on the plane was the first new. Seriously affecting the company's image, and the stock continued to decline. His father was furious, he slammed the table and opened the meeting. At this time, Byun Hyuk suddenly went in and proved he was not a useless person. He decided to admit all his mistakes. But down to earth, his father didn't give him a chance to explain. As soon as he saw his son, he slapped his son's face. Because in his eyes, Byun Hyuk was just a useless son. So he refused to listen to any explanation from him. The only solution for this boy is bloody beatings. He couldn't carry a table, he carried a chair to hit his son. At a dangerous moment, Jaehoon promptly rushed out to cover Byun Hyuk. When the chairman saw that, he stopped. My good friend, thank you. Jaehoon helped Byun Hyuk treat his wound, told him not to let the reporters find out before this matter was resolved. When he met Baek Joon, 
He said he came here because his father worked in. She excitedly asked what department he worked in, what position, was he a temporary employee, was he cleaning staff or clean the kitchen, maybe he was in the cleaning department. Beck Jun supposed Byun Hyuk was beaten by his father because he was fired. Finding a job at this age was difficult. But how much angry did he have to be to beat you like this? I'm just the son who disappointed my father. Suddenly, Jae-hoon called to remind Byun Hyuk that it was time to go home. When he prepared to leave, Beck Jun suddenly pulled him back because she remembered a job could make money. Unexpectedly, the job she mentioned was worked at the construction site. Beck Jun accidentally found out the wanderer she saved was a young master. Also who bullied her best friend on the plane a few days ago. Are you that guy? No, Beck Jun, that's right, it's him. Beck Jun hates the most people who use money to threaten others. This time, Byun Hyuk was hard to explain. Jaehyun also admitted that Byun Hyuk was the second son of the Gansu group. Byun Hyuk kept explaining. At this time, her best friend held a heavy bottle of wine and walked over. You would be dead meat today, seeing the strained atmosphere. Baek Jun asked him to apologize. Byun Hyuk quickly knelt and begged forgiveness. But Jaehyun felt he wasn't wrong in this matter. Furthermore, she had already received compensation. Why did she spread the video to make a big deal? Yun Hee was angry and threw the money on the ground. Jaehoon didn't want to argue so he went back home. Byun Hyuk followed and blamed him for doing what would make Baek Jun feel awkward. But Jaehoon had endured enough of Byun Hyuk. The chairman used to help Jaehoon's family when was most difficult at the time. Just like that, the two children grew up together. At this time, Byun Hyuk knew the truth in Jaehoon's heart. He went downstairs to apologize to Baek Jun and explained it was a misunderstanding that happened on the plane. But she didn't want to hear his explanation. Please forgive me, otherwise I will stay here forever. It's up to you. After leaving home, she continued to work part-time at night. She tried to make money to pay off her mother's debt. After her father died, Baek Jun raised her mother and younger brother's stressful life. The family's burden falls on her shoulders. While working, Baek Jun accidentally met Byun Hyuk's brother. Also heard that the incident on the plane was by him. Because the only way to kick Byun Hyuk out of the house, he easily became the heir of the family fortune. In the morning, Jae Hoon woke Byun Hyuk on the floor. I have to stay here and wait for Baek Jun. Okay, get up, if you don't wake up, I'll break off the relationship. Having no choice, Byun Hyuk obediently followed Jae Hoon back. Shortly after, Baek Jun went to the company to find Jae Hoon and said she needed money urgently. If not, she would denounce Byun Hyuk, the young master who ran away and was captured by a girl who has no power in society. Looked at the journalists and reporters crowded in front of the company. Do you still want me to go out and denounce? Jae Hoon helplessly asked her to pay the price. Baek Jun hesitated and asked if he wasn't on Byun Hyuk's side. Jae Hoon didn't understand what she meant. So Baek Jun told the story of meeting Byun Hyuk's brother last night. Jae Hoon immediately remembered someone who had reminded him. When these things happen, it's usually a wolf in sheep's clothing. At this time, both of them realized that Byun Hyuk was in danger. The police arrived here, but the manager lied that she had never met this person. Unexpectedly, after that, Hello, now you know who am I? Yes of course I know, right? At this time, Jae Hoon and Baek Jun also arrived. Surprisingly the police couldn't recognize Byun Hyuk. When he reacted, the manager stopped the policeman and quickly threw the flower vase at him. When Jae Hoon ran over, Byun Hyuk had already entered the elevator. At this time the police also arrived. Jae Hoon had no choice so climbed the stairs to chase after Byun Hyuk. Unexpectedly two of them reached the 33rd floor at the same time. When Jae Hoon didn't know what to do, Baek Jun appeared to resolve this situation. Jae Hoon quickly called Byun Hyuk, asking him to open the door for Baek Jun. The policeman coming, Baek Jun quickly pushed the cart into the room. Get in the car hurry up, I'll take you out. Byun Hyuk was extremely touched when Baek Jun came to save him. Unexpectedly she admitted that she saved him because of money. What? Give me 5 million won and I will take you out. Byun Hyuk immediately agreed. The condition was they would go to Jae Hoon's house and she would have to find a place to hide. If Baek Jun accepted to be his secretary, she would receive the same salary as Jae Hoon. Thinking of her mother's huge debt, Baek Jun immediately agreed. On the other phone, Jae Hoon felt that this was insane. After a successful agreement, Byun Hyuk jumped into the cart. The policeman was standing right in front of the room. Seeing the person coming out was the cleaning staff. He had no doubts. When they entered the elevator, the policeman suddenly rushed in. He just intended to go downstairs, but it was enough to make Baek Jun so scared. The police officer asked her if she had ever seen this person. Baek Jun confusedly said she was new here so she didn't know. At this time, Byun Hyuk suddenly had a stomach ache. 
Beck Jun quickly calmed down and apologized, then used the excuse that the elevator had mosquitoes to distract the opponent's attention, then the policeman gave Beck Jun his business card. She politely refused that the staff couldn't reveal customer information, beyond Hyuk had been struggling for a while. Finally, he was relaxed, they couldn't breathe in the elevator. The policeman couldn't stand it anymore and ran out of the elevator, when Beck Jun breathed a sigh of relief. Beyond Hyuk's phone suddenly rang. Beck Jun quickly pushed the cart and ran away. Two of them went down to the parking lot then climbed into Jae Hoon's car. When they felt relief, they found out the policeman was still chasing behind. He was stuck between two trucks on the halfway. When they arrived, they couldn't see the two remaining people. Actually they had sneaked onto the bus. There was no one in the car. He was also nothing more to say. After escaping an accident, Beyond Hyuk did not expect Beck Jun to bring him here. The young master was forced to work on the construction site. After less than five minutes, he hugged his arms and cried, startled. Beck Jun, I was injured. Beck Jun shook her head and showed him what was exactly injured. Go away. Byun Hyuk shyly returned to work. Everyone wondered why such a person as him came here to work. The workers went to the canteen to have lunch. Byun Hyuk looked at the food and couldn't swallow it. Beck Jun advised that without eating, you lack the energy to work, because he wanted to integrate into her life. Byun Hyuk closed his eyes and took a sip. Unexpected he was conquered by the taste of the soup. What a delicious food. Byun Hyuk started scooping up big scoops. At this time, the TV reported shocking news. His brother opened a press conference and apologized for his younger brother's disruptive behavior on the plane. He said that his younger brother was missing. If he was found, he would punish by the law. Simultaneously provided the most reasonable solution, seeing his brother stood up to speak at the conference. Byun Hyuk had a feeling of being lost. Everyone began to discuss. The auntie said this family only had a brother who was brilliant, while the younger brother was deficient. Uncle Kim depressively said he just performed for everyone to see. As long as you have money, nothing is impossible. But what benefit is it of having money? Anyway, the second son wasn't a good person. Byun Hyuk quickly explained that he certainly had his own troubles. Does it mean you are the second son of the Gansu group? Everyone immediately turned their eyes to Byun Hyuk. Stop it! A worker has no voice in the matter know what to say. This made a person have an arrogant personality as Byun Hyuk didn't know what to do. Actually, he didn't duck out of his responsibility, he was prevented by his father. At this time, the company director came to visit, everyone stood up to welcome him. Beck Jun saw Byun Hyuk was feeling self-pity, she consoled for a few words and then left him alone. On this side, the director began to blame everyone because the construction progress was too slow. Beck Jun got angry and stood out for the workers. After hearing that the director immediately fired her, everyone tried to protect Beck Jun. The scene was chaotic. Byun Hyuk stood on the scaffolding and saw she was being bullied. He got excited so he accidentally dropped a brick. The brick fell down directly on the director's head. This time Byun Hyuk really caused a huge trouble. This time he caused huge trouble, not only causing the workers to lose their jobs, but also injuring the director in a bad way. Luckily, Byun Hyuk has a good friend. When Byun Hyuk called Jae Hoon for help, a group of people suddenly rushed into the construction site. Come quickly, just like that, the director charged him with attempted murder. After hearing that, everyone who took over from Byun Hyuk disagreed, because everyone saw that was an unexpected incident. When the crowd argued non-stop, the police came to demand arrest. Beck Jun quickly revealed the story of the director when he intended to attack her. Who are you? You're my friend. Actually, before Jae Hoon came here, he had investigated this general contractor. He got the drop so could only peacefully resolve it. Beck Jun asked why that brick fell down. Byun Hyuk explained it was an unexpected incident. Great, cause trouble at the hotel still was an unexpected incident? That's right, falling brick is unintentional, and harassing Yun He is also unintentional. Byun Hyuk explained that it was all really an unexpected incident. Beck Jun regretted helping a bastard. Then angrily turned around and left. Seeing she had left, Byun Hyuk followed Jae Hoon back home. The most unfortunate one is the workers lost their jobs. Beck Jun found the director to demand justice but was thrown out. After being humiliated, Beck Jun was disappointed and returned home. At this time, a romantic atmosphere was prepared to make her happy. He thought she would move to tears, but when saw a person who only knew how to deceive. Beck Jun got angry and cursed Byun Hyuk's bewildered. Because of protecting you, those workers were fired. This job is nothing to you but it is our source of life. Seeing she was gonna be crazy over this, Byun Hyuk still thought money could solve everything. Never thought that Beck Jun tore the compensation money. Having been through a lot, Byun Hyuk realized that he no longer lived in vain. He bravely determined to face everything, not allowed to become useless anymore. Knowing his younger brother had appeared, he sent someone made Byun Hyuk hadn't a chance to turn over. His father didn't scold him and even helped him find five talented lawyers. 
Afterward, Byun Hyuk came to sincerely apologize to Yun Hee. After clarifying this matter, Baek Jun realized that she had misunderstood Byun Hyuk. He is the most miserable young master in Korean movies. He was kicked out of the house, and even his father forced him to take off his clothes. Moreover, he encountered a beautiful girl at this time. What's wrong? What's going on? Over there? Just like that, everyone chased the pervert together. Everyone chased him through the street. Byun Hyuk accidentally fell down. Got you, pervert. Uncle, it's me, Byun Hyuk. There's really nothing to say, because Yun Hee witnessed so she helped Byun Hyuk regain his innocence. He happily ran to Baek Joon but his father sent someone to take him back. This time, his father didn't hit him, he even gave Byun Hyuk the life he wanted. Byun Hyuk happily left home but could not find the purpose of his life. Don't know what kind of life he wants to live? If you want to live your life, then in the future, you can't live as Chairman Kansu's son anymore. So you want to chase me away? How can you chase me away like that? Leave all your belongings behind, including your clothes, watch, sandals, and everything else on your body. Byun Hyuk was thrown out of the house without any belongings. He bawled in front of the gate and called his father. The chairman told everyone that if anyone gave clothes to Byun Hyuk, they would be also thrown out of the house. But Jae Hoon's father was the only person worried about Byun Hyuk. When no one paid attention, he secretly brought him a bag. He also said that if he didn't leave in a few minutes, someone would drag him out to the middle of the square. Byun Hyuk was scared and quickly left here. Luckily, when he was lonely, he received help from his colleagues working at the construction site. They spent money to buy tea and took him to the market to buy clothes. But Byun Hyuk didn't like the clothes everyone chose. You're still fastidious when you're at your wit's end? If it's not your style, come inside and choose it. After trying on clothes, Byun Hyuk excitedly went out to perform with everyone. This style is unique. Baek Joon laughed when she saw it. Then everyone took Byun Hyuk out to eat together. He felt the warmth of everyone at this moment, he knew what happiness was. On this side, his mother blamed her husband for treating her son too cruelly. I wanted to give him the wings, if he had fully fledged, he would have to fly on his own. The chairman advised Jae Hoon to pay attention to Byun Hyuk and promptly inform him. On this side, his brother also called Jae Hoon to ask for reporting to him what he had just reported to the chairman. However, the chairman did not want others to know his youngest son's information. Just like that, Jae Hoon fell into a hesitant situation. Returning to the attic, Byun Hyuk met Yan Hee again. He thanked her for agreeing to testify for him. Are you sick? What? Byun Hyuk was embarrassed and quickly apologized to Yan Hee. This scene was caught by Baek Joon's parents. What kind of life made a girl work like that? As long as the work she can do, she absolutely will not ignore it. So part-time work became her forte. Because she could earn more money than full-time work. Actually, she has a mother who has always been like a debt collector. She had a younger brother who was better than, but the mother's purpose of coming this time was still the same. But Baek Joon couldn't bear the life's burdens anymore. She cried and said that she didn't have that much money. The mother knew her daughter's suffering, but there was no other way, she would not let her daughter in awkward situations. At this time, the conversation between them was heard by Byun Hyuk. He immediately told Jae Hoon about this and wanted to borrow some money from him. Actually, Jae Hoon didn't know Baek Joon's difficulties. He couldn't even take care of himself as he took care of other people. There was no way, Byun Hyuk called and asked for his mother's help. But his mother said that his father had warned her not to give him any money. If you didn't want your parents to divorce, then hang up the phone. After that, Byun Hyuk continued to call his sister to ask for help, but the result was still the same. A person can spend up to tens of millions in one night, so never know how large an amount of money it is. After work, Baek Joon saw her mother had left, leaving a note saying that she was grateful to the young man who lived downstairs. He helped her solve this urgent matter. Baek Joon was angry and rushed down to find Byun Hyuk. Without saying anything, she immediately beat him. Byun Hyuk didn't understand why he was beaten by Baek Joon. Baek Joon felt this was so shame and warned Byun Hyuk never to appear in front of her again. On the way back home, Baek Joon received a phone call from her mother. She realized that the money was given to her mother by Jae Hoon. She quickly turned back, but she accidentally heard the conversation of them in the house. Why did you take the money and give it to Baek Joon? Could it be because you care too much about what I asked you? Why, at this moment, Byun Hyuk didn't even think that. Because Jae Hoon liked Baek Joon he did that, and he said that he would definitely give the money back. Jae Hoon didn't want to explain anymore. If he wanted to give back, then gave money back to me within a month. Overdue interest would begin to be charged. 
Moreover, the rent fee, electricity, and water bills would be equally divided. Baek Jun thought that Jae Hoon was making money for himself, but she got angry and left. Baek Jun started working at 4 a.m. for living, but unexpectedly, Byun Hyuk also stealthily followed her. After seeing everything, he understood how difficult the life of people is. So he decided to work with Baek Jun. But Byun Hyuk didn't expect that his first job was cleaning for his father's company. That was his father's company, so if he was recognized, he would still feel a bit embarrassed. As soon as he entered the room, an uncle surprisingly ran out to greet him. Look at it, I was recognized when I just arrived. Also, have young people come to work? Byun Hyuk was so embarrassed that he wished he could hide somewhere. It was normally when the older couldn't be able to see clearly. When we came to the main hall, would be recognized. And right then, the man wearing glasses called him back. Come over here and clean this place. Byun Hyuk kept thinking why no one recognized him. Baek Joon told him that when you put on this outfit, you have lost your own image. He recalled his former glories. Now he deeply felt this difference. He finally understood the feeling underestimated by others. Therefore, he determined to abandon his own image to accept reality. Byun Hyuk also understood why every time Baek Joon worked, she hid in the bathroom to eat. So the next day, he proactively helped others work and got two luncheon vouchers. Seeing the girl eat one piece of hot rice. Byun Hyuk felt extremely happy, but at this moment the cleaning team leader was coming. Asking him to leave this place because this was not a place where the two of them could stay. While everyone was talking, the chairman came over and saw his son. The chairman became angry, two of them were scared and quickly ran away. Baek Joon didn't understand why they had to run away. At this time, Byun Hyuk said he did not want her to see him beat. His father got a stomach ache because of his lunch. When he wanted to go back, he realized the toilet ran out of paper. Byun Hyuk had always been in charge of cleaning this place, so it was all his joke. Seeing his son cleaning the windows outside, the father not only got angry but also praised his son for his bravery. However, the relationship between them has just improved. Unexpectedly, the next day Byun Hyuk was beaten. It turned out that Baek Jun was sick so she took a day off. The team leader took advantage of the opportunity to fire her. Everyone felt the company's requirements were too strict, so everyone went on mass strike. Byun Hyuk went to find the boss and officially challenged his brother. He negotiated with everyone when the company launched new product sampling. That old man will go outside. That is an opportunity for everyone to claim an official employee. The day after the activity started, Byun Hyuk brought all the probationary workers to appear at the scene. However, the company did not arrange this performance. Then the chairman discovered the leader was his son. Along with this special dance performance of everyone, the leader of the program was scared so he immediately collapsed. But the chairman felt extremely satisfied. He did not think that his son had this talent. All employees at the scene sang and danced to the vibrant rhythm. The atmosphere of the activity was pushed to a climax. After the performance ended, Byun Hyuk stood on stage as the name of the company, directly declared that the chairman has agreed all probationary employees become official employees. Everyone was extremely excited, and the company workers felt surprised. Baek Joon also did not think that Byun Hyuk would bravely prepare these things for everyone. This kid really didn't care about his father's opinion. After that, what was waiting for him was his father's fierce battle. Baek Joon was impatiently waiting outside, hearing constant curses from inside. She couldn't stand it, so she pushed the door open. Baek Joon was surprised when saw it. Because paying workers were basically hiring a cleaning company. But when it came to a third party, the cleaning job same as a job to deal with. Unfortunately, the chairman will not be soft-hearted by the actions of them. When he knew Baek Joon had resigned, he immediately told her that. You must successfully join the company first then you could say, officially employee? I don't care, what? Because, because after reaching middle age I will be fired anyway. This is not only a waste of time but also a waste of money, yet chosen but have already started to avoid it. You are truly a coward, because he wanted his son to return back the company. But was forced to participate in a test round. Byun Hyuk felt this was ridiculous because he hadn't even graduated high school. How could he pass the company's exams? The father said if he could pass this test. All employees would have a chance to work. Byun Hyuk reached out to Baek Joon and Jae Hoon to negotiate. Jae Hoon felt that he was incompetent so couldn't give an assessment. Baek Joon said that if he doesn't try it, how can he know the final result? Returning home, Byun Hyuk felt that this matter was really contradictory, because without ability, it would be difficult to pass this exam. While he was brainstorming, his brother suddenly found him. Knowing his younger brother was preparing to return to the company, he felt unsafety. He not only insulted Byun Hyuk, but he also took money to force him to leave. 
Many years ago Byun Hyuk took the rap for his brother about hitting a person with a car. He fell to his knees and begged Byun Hyuk, but he badly treated his younger brother because of the property. His brother's actions made Byun Hyuk get the answer. To be honest, I have no hope of passing this test, but I still want to try, don't worry. Now I know that my worries were just redundant. To help Byun Hyuk pass the test, Baek Joon decided to study with him. Two of them started studying together. The auntie silently stood behind to help. Uncle Kim helped them print important documents. A few days later, two of them confidently went to the company. But when he saw the test, Byun Hyuk began to feel dizzy. Remembered Baek Joon made an effort for him, he regained his motivation. Time's up. Byun Hyuk favorably passed the test. At the interview round, the interviewer was Byun Hyuk's brother. Although Byun Hyuk answered very fluently, his brother harshly objected. In the end, Minister Ji Hwan used his power to recruit Byun Hyuk to the company. When it was Baek Joon's turn, every aspect of her was very suitable for the company. But she didn't want to work here because her application was. Just to prove that she was not a coward like the president said. Ending the test, the chairman kept his promise of giving opportunities to employees working. Byun Hyuk had a bad first working day. Byun Hyuk did not try to work for the company's benefit. He collaborated with the competitor against his father. On his first working day, his senior gave him a difficult task, but Byun Hyuk's driver license was confiscated so he asked Baek Joon to drive him. When they arrived at the factory, they caught a situation. It was an emergency situation to save people, but it took a long time to calm down. Because the person they saved was President Han, who is also in charge here. The two employees bowed their heads to save their lives. When they recognized Byun Hyuk was an employee of Gansu Group, they changed their attitude. Get out of here. Initially the senior told me to get a stamp. But in this situation, it was impossible. The next day, Baek Joon went along to find President Han and found out if they got a stamp, the company would go bankrupt. And Gansu Group has no intention of compensating. This matter never happened when President Park was still alive. When mentioned Baek Joon's father, she remembered what happened that year. Many years ago her father was also an employee of Gansu Group because he was falsely accused, so he suicide to end his life. Unexpectedly, their conversation was overheard by Byun Hyuk, because he couldn't complete the task, his senior asked him why. Byun Hyuk could only tell the truth that the other person was very pitiful. President Han suddenly rushed into the company screaming and required the Gansu group to compensate. Jae Hoon is always the person who solves these situations. Just a few sentences could overwhelm them. Byun Hyuk couldn't stand it when he saw Jae Hoon do that. The next day, he asked Minister Han to continue production and would share 50% of the profits. They quickly started working. Jae Hoon ran in a hurry when heard the news, warning them weren't allowed to use the company's trademark, if not they had to go to jail. On the way back, Baek Joon also came here. At this time, Jae Hoon knew she was the daughter of the president, so he asked her what was her purpose for approaching Byun Hyuk. Hearing that, Baek Joon felt extremely angry. Let's assume that I like him. Baek Joon's answer made Jae Hoon's heart break. He regretted not accepting her confession before. So all these years he has always been silently beside next to Baek Joon. Byun Hyuk wanted to confirm his relationship with Baek Joon, but she was afraid and avoided it. Can't you confirm a little bit? Can I become your man? She was silent and didn't respond. Byun Hyuk thought that she agreed with him, but Baek Joon said they were just normal friends. Byun Hyuk immediately felt like he had been dumped. After returning, Baek Joon was nervous that she couldn't stand. She didn't know whether she liked Byun Hyuk or not. Byun Hyuk was confused and uncomfortable. Clearly, two of them had a feeling. Why didn't Baek Joon accept his love confession? Jae Hoon got jealous and immediately hit Byun Hyuk's head with a pillow. The next morning, they went to research the market and found out that their product had been defeated by a new product from Gansu Group. So they quickly discussed a solution. Uncle Kim promoted his propaganda skills in charge of training and teaching knowledge to everyone about Byun Hyuk. He went to the supermarket to promote the products. With everyone's efforts, all the products were sold out. So the consumption of Gansu Group's products also decreased. The chairman angrily kicked Byun Hyuk out of the company. Suddenly the chairman called to praise Gansu Group's recruitment of cleaning staff. Also opened a new chance for the company to survive. Their group was the hot search and stock price has risen. The father feels satisfied with Byun Hyuk's achievements this time. Byun Hyuk admitted that his current change was all based on Baek Yoon's efforts. Even though the mother knew about this girl, the whole family felt happy for Byun Hyuk. Only his brother showed obvious jealousy. Not long after, he came to find Baek Yoon to ask why she approached Byun Hyuk. Baek Yoon was confused and didn't understand. He continued to say that her father was kicked out of the company by the chairman. Don't you feel ashamed to come here to work now and even stand on my younger brother's side? I really don't understand. Baek Yoon did not believe this truth. 
the older brother vented all his anger on Baekhyun. Byun Hyuk had accidentally overheard this story. Even if you have money, you may not be able to pursue this girl. So the future mother-in-law personally came to find Baekhyun. She thought her nobility would attract her attention. Baekhyun turned her head and saw a motorbike coming straight towards them. She quickly shielded Madame. Luckily with Baekhyun's help, Madame escaped an accident. Although they were not injured, Madame's clothes were soaked. Baekhyun kindly asked her to come to her house to dry her clothes. Seeing the opportunity, Madame immediately agreed. Baekhyun took Madame to her home. Madame rashly went to greet, then proactively introduced his son who lived downstairs. The mother thought Madame was Jae Hyun's mother so gave praise to her. Baekhyun guessed this person was definitely Byun Hyuk's mother, so she stepped back and gave the signal to her mother, but her mother didn't understand. Then continued to mention Byun Hyuk, the situation seemed bad. Baekhyun invited Madame to the house. Entering a house, Baekhyun quickly apologized to Madame for her mother's words, but she got used to these words. So straight to the point. Ask what was the development stage of Baekhyun's relationship with her son. When do you plan to get married? I've already thought of a name for grandson, but Baekhyun said they were just regular friends. Madame did not understand what was wrong with her son. Except for causing trouble, Byun Hyuk was a person with a warm heart. When Madame returned home, she received a phone call from her son. Byun Hyuk in front of Baekhyun blamed his mother for coming to bother her family. But after that, he rashly asked his mother what she felt about meeting her family. Madame felt that Baekhyun was a kind and excellent girl. Sadly, Baekhyun's mother likes a son-in-law like Jaehyun. They sat on the terrace and waited all night long. Because they were waiting for the person they liked. Last night, he couldn't call a car, so Baekhyun called Jaehyun to come pick him up. Hearing she was in the suburbs, he quickly drove to pick her up. When they prepared to return, the car suddenly broke down. Byun Hyuk as soon as returned home, he immediately ran to find Baekhyun. Because she was not at home so he returned to find Jaehyun. But Jaehyun wasn't at home either. Uncle Kim suddenly called to inform him that he had not been able to contact Baekhyun all day. Byun Hyuk was extremely worried. Quickly called Jaehyun to check out the situation. We're together, so you're with Baekhyun? Jaehyun announced he would be back home late. This news made Byun Hyuk start to feel worried and uneasy. Scenes of them being intimate appeared in Byun Hyuk's mind. He consoled himself that this scene absolutely could not happen. Remembering what his mother told him last night, he is so young to be a director. Don't even know how much Baek Yoon's mother likes Jae Hoon. So you definitely have to be careful with Jae Hoon. Byun Hyuk started to feel uneasy so he went out to wait for Baek Yoon to come home. Unexpectedly, as soon as he reached the gate, he saw Yan Hee back home. So he told the story two of them were together. Yan Hee was even more surprised than him. So the two of them waited all night. The friend saw that and brought Yanhee a glass of warm water. Don't have mine? Sorry, I only have one glass. At this time, Baekhyun tiredly returned home. Yanhee quickly pulled her into the room and asked about the situation. Byun Hyuk also wanted to know what happened to the two of them. Unexpectedly, Jaehyun didn't answer and gave Byun Hyuk a smile. Not every mother-in-law likes to make difficult for daughter-in-law, but they were really talkative. Madam felt she was the type of person to pamper daughter-in-law. But can you pour me a glass of water? A glass of water that is 50% cold and 50% hot is fine. I must emphasize I'm not the type of who always told the daughter-in-law. Baekhyun wondered what was happening made she was here at such a late night. Madame embarrassedly admitted that she had run away from home, so she wanted to stay for one night. But this place is cold and narrow and really not suitable for her. It's okay, not inconvenient at all. Are you feeling inconvenienced? Yes, it's a bit inconvenient. Madame did not think Baekhyun was so honest. But she really liked this personality of hers. To help her son pursue a daughter-in-law. Women have wasted countless efforts. At night, lying in bed, Madame could hardly sleep. Because she knew her son was in trouble. But she didn't know that Baekhyun was also in trouble because of this. Last night, Wu Sung gave his father a photo of younger brother accepting a bribe. After looking at the photo, Byun Hyuk felt very angry because he had never done this. To avoid public opinion, the president required Byun Hyuk to temporarily stay away for a while. Byun Hyuk supposed that someone intentionally harmed him, so he must investigate a wolf in sheep's clothing. So the chairman gave him three days to investigate this matter clearly. At dinner, Wu Sung asked his father what he intended to do with him. Actually, the chairman was not happy with two sons. The brother is cold-blooded and heartless, the youngest son is honest and kind. But they are both his flesh and blood, the chairman always feels very awkward. In the past, Byun Hyuk always avoided trouble. But now he has the courage to face it. There is no reason to not trust his son. Madame knew what had happened so ran after him to ask what had happened. But the chairman asked his wife, If choose between two sons, who would you choose? Because I would choose the stronger one. But both of them were your children. Seeing her husband was so cold, 
Madame got angry and left. Finally, she went to Beck Jun's house to stay for one night. Coincidentally, she was also a headache about this. So they discussed how to help Byun Hyuk. How cruel the hidden struggle in the tycoon family would be. The brother wanted to take over the property, so slandered the younger brother, eventually turning Byun Hyuk into a useless person in everyone's eyes. Moreover, he also harmed his younger brother and took bribes. Byun Hyuk had suffered too much resentment and finally decided not to concede anymore. He announced that within three days he would find the person who accused him. Then he started to find Baek Jun and Jae Hun to discuss how to deal with it, but they didn't know who took those photos. To find the cause, the first thing to do is find the source of those photos. Byun Hyuk felt that the person he suspected was only Wu Sung. So he decided to investigate him, but the photos were with the president. They have to think of a way to get those photos. Baek Jun confidently accepted this task, with Uncle Kim's help. The first task was quickly completed. Receiving the photo from Uncle Kim, Baek Jun immediately ran to the KTV where Byun Hyuk had been before. They started the investigation from here but the staff did not want to bring trouble to themselves. Thinking of Baek Jun used to save her, the girl finally told the truth. Wu Sung had come here to get a camera that day. After hearing this, Byun Hyuk couldn't believe that because they were siblings. He didn't expect Wu Sung to do such an unconscionable thing. That night, everyone discussed together, we must get the original video to know what happened that night. But how can I get it from Wu Sung? Baek Jun suggested many ways, but all were opposed by Jae Hoon. The whole group turned to look at Jae Hoon. I absolutely won't do that. Then he left them alone and walked away. Not long after Baek Jun arrived home, she saw Byun Hyuk's mother sitting in front of the house. Because she was angry at her husband, she went to her house to stay overnight. That evening, both women had headaches about Byun Hyuk's story. In the end, Madame couldn't stand it so asked Baek Jun if she knew how the situation. Are you free tomorrow? To help Byun Hyuk exonerate in this matter, Baek Jun took Madame to the brother's office to look for evidence. Wu Sun wondered why mom came here. Don't you know that I ran away from home last night? I really can't get along with your father. The woman was both dissed and found on the desk but still couldn't find anything. Then he asked her son to take her out to eat. Wu Sung had no other choice. He gave the job to his subordinates. As soon as went out, Madam called Baek Jun to inform the plan had failed. Told her to proceed with the second option. Seeing they had left, Baek Jun quickly called the assistant to help. Then Uncle Kim and Auntie in turn, they used a mop to cover the camera. When Baek Jun prepared to enter the room, Jae Hoon suddenly chased. Then Byun Hyuk also promptly appeared. So three of them searched the whole office and finally found a kitty USB stick. Jae Hoon thought they would bring the USB as well. Unexpectedly, Baek Jun had already prepared a computer. Jae Hoon kept looking at the watch. Don't worry, Madam retained him. After the mission was completed, Byun Hyuk looked at Baek Jun with grateful eyes. Baek Jun was embarrassed and asked him to hand over this evidence to the chairman. Byun Hyuk hugged the girl who changed his life, feeling that Baek Jun was a gift from God. He then showed his father the original video and found the places where people had cut it. The father finally knew his son had been falsely accused. He asked Byun Hyuk how he would deal with his brother, but he answered that he just wanted to regain his innocence. I just hope dad stops cooperating with that company, seeing his son was so kind. The chairman also received some comfort. This time I really lost. After hearing the news that her youngest son had regained his innocence, Madame felt extremely happy. At the same time, after a few days of contact, she loved this kind daughter-in-law, asking her when she would stop working as a cleaning staff. Is it possible that at such a young age, you don't have your own dreams? Thinking of this, Byun Hyuk decided to plan for the future. Byun Hyuk, what are you doing? At this time, Byun Hyuk didn't know where to hide his face. He didn't expect Baek Jun to ask him if he wanted to date her. Byun Hyuk surprisingly looked at her and then danced like a child. Not long after, Byun Hyuk found Jae Hoon again. Dating? The unexpected question made him confused and don't know how to answer. Couldn't believe that he was leaving off work and happily looked at Baek Jun waiting outside. At this time, Byun Hyuk suddenly appeared. Seeing this, Jun wondered why he hadn't left work yet, but Byun Hyuk said he was waiting for him. Jae Hoon wondered what was going on. At this time, Yun Hee also arrived. Seeing Yun Hee, he understood what Baek Jun meant, although he was unhappy but he still followed them. Three of them joked happily, only Jae Hoon was sad in a corner. After cutting off the other two people, Byun Hyuk thought he would go out with her. But Baek Jun said she wanted to go home. Don't let Yun Hee misunderstand, Jae Hoon told her that he already had someone he liked. But Yun Hee did not blame him. Because she knew at the beginning, she was always self-amorous. After that, she went to drink alone to relieve her sadness. At this time, Chiyo Men accidentally saw her. 
Then two of them drank a few together. Seeing Yanhi miserable and crying, Chiyo Men was confused and didn't know how to reassure her. Over here, Baek Jun and Byun Hyuk were buying coffee when they saw Jae Hun coming home alone. They quickly ran out. Seeing him with a gloomy face, they concernedly asked what had happened. I'm going crazy. It was bewildered because didn't understand. Baek Jun thought Jae Hun didn't like Yan Hee, but he immediately saw an unbelievable scene. How beautiful a woman looks after applying makeup can vary. Two men were surprised when they saw Baek Jun walking towards them. Even Jae Hun couldn't believe that Baek Jun usually dressed sloppily. After applying makeup, she looked so beautiful, simultaneously wondered why she did makeup to go out at this late night. They didn't have a chance to react. Baek Jun had already left. The more they thought the more they felt strange, so Byun Hyuk decided to silently follow. Jae Hun also hurriedly chased after him. More surprising was that Baek Jun usually went by bus but now she spent money to go by taxi. Two of them were worried so quickly took the car to chase after her. Unexpectedly, Baek Jun walked into a hotel and met a strange man. They immediately felt something was wrong. This time Jae Hun was really confused. He hurriedly ran to the elevator but was still a step slow. Byun Hyuk took out the phone to call Baek Jun but she didn't pick up the phone. They quickly chased after her. Jae Hun was really dumbstruck when arrived. Because he had seen Baek Jun entering the hotel room with that man. The situation was critical. Jae Hun knocked on the door, ignoring the room owner's objections, and rushed inside. Seeing the scene inside, they were stunned. Baek Jun came to organize a birthday party for the children. They really committed a big crime. The birthday party was ruined by the two of them. Baek Jun didn't understand what they were doing here. But Baek Jun looked really pretty with makeup. Who told her to go out with a glam makeup look? Wearing a short skirt, your body reeked of perfume. Moreover going to the hotel, Baek Jun helplessly angrily left. To calm her down, they invited her out for dinner. Baek Jun scolded them at here. Then asked Jae Hoon if he was in love with someone at work. Jae Hoon was helpless to say anything. Byun Hyuk kept asking to him confess. Jae Hoon angrily said he would never be like Byun Hyuk that always confessed his love to someone else's daughter. Baek Jun suddenly felt guilty, because she realized the person Jae Hoon liked was herself. Today, Madam was well dressed to meet her future daughter-in-law, so early in the morning, she ran to her son. Unexpectedly, Byun Hyuk was not home. Coincidentally, he met Baek Jun's mother. She enthusiastically went to greet Jae Hoon and Madam, inviting them to her house for a meal. Baek Jun wondered why her mother invited them to her house. Actually, her mother always misunderstood that she was Jae Hoon's mother, but she also loved her future son-in-law very much. Just like that, she praised Jae Hoon in front of Madam, even admiring her for giving birth to a talented boy. Made both Jae Hoon and Madam feel awkward. Baek Jun gave the signal to her mother to stop talking. At this time Jae Hoon suddenly received a text message from Woo Sung. After Jae Hoon left, Madam plucked up the courage to admit that she was not Jae Hoon's mother, but rather she was Byun Hyuk's mother. Having misunderstood, Baek Jun's mother was embarrassed and didn't know what to say. As soon as Jae Hoon went out, he accidentally saw Byun Hyuk, knowing his brother was looking for Jae Hoon so he went to talk to him. Entering the room, he saw the scene before his eyes. Byun Hyuk warned his brother not to force Jae Hoon to handle these shameful things. But Woo Sung said this was what Jae Hoon had to do, and was dissatisfied with his brother's opposing attitude. Just like that, the two brothers started fighting. Byun Hyuk didn't want to argue with him and was finally left alone. After going out, he saw Jae Hoon waiting outside the door. He immediately said he no longer needed to listen to Woo Sung's anymore. Hearing Byun Hyuk's words, Jae Hoon suddenly felt warmth but still decided to stand outside waiting for Woo Sung. As soon as he went out, he started insulting Jae Hoon, warning him not to betray him. Only by being obedient, he can protect his family. In the evening, Jae Hoon found his father and said he didn't want to do this job. His father said even if his son quits his job, he must still treat Byun Hyuk well because that year Byun Hyuk was the person who took the rap for Woo Sung, hoped son didn't blame Byun Hyuk. After knowing the truth, Jae Hoon hurriedly returned home, he asked Byun Hyuk why he hid this matter. Realizing Jae Hoon knew the truth, Byun Hyuk did not hide it anymore because his brother and father had made. Jae Hoon and his father suffered for many years. He extremely felt guilty for them, so no matter how disgusted Jae Hoon was, he always considered him was best friend. Hearing this, Jae Hoon was so touched that he didn't know what to say. Just a few short sentences quickly resolved the resentment in his heart for many years. At night, a dark shadow broke into Jae Hoon's house. Byun Hyuk stood on the side of justice and discussed with Jae Hoon how to confront his father's powerful forces. Baek Jun overheard the conversation because she could not clearly hear the cause. So she was curious to ask them what happened to protect Baek Jun from this infighting. 
Byung-hyuk quickly lied and said that, recently the work pressure was too high so they plan to go out to relax tomorrow. So three of them had a fun outing. On this side, Wu Sung Mu Jae-hun asked for permission. He sent someone to follow him because he had collected enough evidence that Jae-hun wanted to betray the company. He intended to eliminate Jae-hun. Unexpectedly that following a day, would not detect any actions. When the three of them went to sing karaoke, Byung Hyuk saw Jae-hun always pay attention to Baek Joon in a special way. After a series of events that happened before, Byung Hyuk realized that the person Jae-hun had secretly liked for many years was Baek Joon. Thinking of this, Byung Hyuk felt a sense of sadness. His best friend had always hidden his feelings for many years. Never dared to speak up before, he just quietly protected the girl he loved. He decided to give two of them a chance to be together. After going out, Byung Hyuk pretended to have a stomachache then asked Baek Joon to sit inside Jae Hoon's car, went home first. After two of them left, he quickly said he was okay. Then drove the car to Kyun Hee and Chi Ol Men back. Sitting in the car, Chi Ol Men saw Byung Hyuk's feelings. On this side, Baek Joon and Jae Hoon went to the observatory. Baek Joon excitedly looked up at the sky, regretting that she came too late. And Jae Hoon said the thing he regrets the most is he was confessed love by Baek Joon in college, but he was too stressed to give an answer. In the end, regretfully missing her, then he plucked the courage to hug the girl, who he had secretly liked for many years. At this time, Baek Joon finally heard his heart. It seemed that the confession that year had received the fullness of the answer. When Chi Ol Min arrived, he suddenly received a message from Jae Hoon, telling them to protect Baek Joon. At this point, Chi Ol Min knew something happened to his friend. On this side, Jae Hoon's car is surrounded by four other cars. At this time he also lost contact with everyone. Baek Joon put a hand in side pocket and discovered that Jae Hoon had secretly put the USB inside. She handed it over to Byung Hyuk because inside was evidence that could overthrow the Gansu group. Hearing that Jae Hoon was missing, Byung Hyuk decided to think about how to save his friend. Byung Hyuk always considered his father was pride and saw everyone bowing respectfully before him. He used to think they all respected him, like him, but now Byung Hyuk has understood that they were all for personal gain. His father was no exception. Anyone who brings disadvantages to him will be treated in the most cruel way. Even Jae Hoon who served his family wholeheartedly could not escape his fate. No matter how much they retaliated, Jae Hoon refused to say where the original video was. So Woo Sung reached out to the prosecutor, slandered and threw Jae Hoon into prison. After being arrested, they gave him two choices, one was handed over evidence, the other was committed an offense that would put him in prison. Furthermore, Gansu Group is a large corporation that someone such as Jae Hoon could overthrow. Jae Hoon immediately responded, although he is not capable of doing this, there is someone who can make Gansu Group caused tremors. Just like that, Jae Hoon was accused of accepting bribes. Byung Hyuk did not expect that his father and brother could use this method to ruin Jae Hoon's life. He came to find Mr. Seol because he held many important documents. These documents were assigned by Jae Hoon before. Mr. Seol said Byung Hyuk could use them to do two things. Firstly, he handed it over to the police, which Jae Hoon has not yet completed. Secondly, he used it to threaten the chairman to save Jae Hoon. At this moment, Byung Hyuk suddenly remembered what Jae Hoon used to tell him even though I can start, you have to do the last part. They did that not wanting to overthrow the company, but rather they continued doing this way. The company would reach the brink of collapse sooner or later. When Byung Hyuk found father to negotiate, Baek Joon knew the news and quickly arrived. She wanted to know Byung Hyuk's choice. Byung Hyuk told her to be assured because he would choose the path to avoid hurting everyone. So he pretended not to know. He handed over important documents to his father and begged him to let Jae Hoon go. The chairman looked through the content and was very surprised, knowing that these documents could put him in jail at Mr. Seal's place. Under the begging of Byung Hyuk, the situation finally changed. The chairman has no reason to keep people. However, Wu Sung was not happy about this. He felt that Byung Hyuk must have a bigger plot behind it. Seeing this, the chairman advised his son not to be too suspicious, learn from his younger brother. You have to start with a big thing. Unexpectedly, after being released, the first thing Jae Hoon did was beat Byun Hyuk because he wanted to use these documents to overthrow the chairman. But Byun Hyuk used it to save him. He didn't understand why Byun Hyuk betrayed him. Hearing this, Byun Hyuk felt extremely disappointed. What do you want me to do?
Even though your life was ruined, it was okay. Did you let them slander you for accepting bribes? I was prepared for all the sacrifices I could make for change. Byun Hyuk thought that these evidences had no effect. But Jae Hoon felt that he was protecting his father. Byun Hyuk angrily punched him when the two of them started fighting. Byun Hyuk secretly told Jae Hoon anew. Luckily, Baek Joon appeared in time to separate the two of them. After this, their relationship completely fell apart. Seeing Jae Hoon injured all over, Baek Joon felt extremely worried. She didn't know what happened between him and Byun Hyuk, but she always felt that Byun Hyuk was hiding something from her. Hopefully, Jae Hoon can continue to help Byun Hyuk. However, they didn't want her to get involved, so they couldn't explain any further. Thinking carefully, Baek Joon always felt that this was a problem. The next day, the chairman happily promoted Byun Hyuk because he had made great contributions to the company. Everyone wondered why a trainee could sit in such a high position because their starting points were different. Not long after, Byun Hyuk called Jae Hoon to the office. They had to complete their roles and also think of a way to get the contract to overthrow the chairman. When Byun Hyuk reported work to his father, he suddenly received a phone call from Chairman Hong who invited them to play golf. Byun Hyuk thought they could take this opportunity to mix up the contract. Before going out, he secretly watched his father open the safety box. This action made him suspicious. After the chairman left, Byun Hyuk secretly broke into his office to find incriminating evidence. Actually, Byun Hyuk also feels very fond of this. Until the end of the night, he still couldn't calm down. The mother did not know what happened but always believed her son. Even though he often caused trouble, he would never do anything that was against his moral conscience. She didn't know that this time Byun Hyuk planned to overthrow his father. The next day, while father went out, Byun Hyuk and Jae Hoon jumped into action. Uncle Kim and Aunt carried out a guard duty. Uncle Jang seduced the group of people gone. At this time, Baek Jin also secretly followed because she always felt that Byun Hyuk and Jae Hoon were hiding something from her. Finally, she knew the plan from Uncle Kim. On this side, Byun Hyuk and Jae Hoon conveniently broke into the chairman's office. But they couldn't open the safety box. The password was not the parents' birthday, nor was it the birthday of my brother and sister. He even tried the license plate, but still couldn't open it. Byun Hyuk try your birthday, it can't be mine. Unexpectedly could open the safety box. There are many documents, I don't know which one is correct. When they didn't know where to start, Baek Joon suddenly appeared to their surprise. Because he didn't want to involve her, Jae Hoon immediately asked her to leave quickly. This is probably a trap. The chairman wasn't a fool, how could he blank room office? At this time, the chairman and brother suddenly returned to the company. Uncle Kim saw it and quickly called to inform him, but this time he was not so lucky, the people were captured. On this side, Byun Hyuk still hasn't found those important documents. What are you guys doing? Have I said something wrong? The chairman angrily gave his son a punch, then quickly asked someone to check the documents. The secretary pulled out a file from another safety box, Byun Hyuk gave a signal to Jae Hoon, took the opportunity to snatch it. He quickly pushed his father and stole the documents then quickly ran away. The chairman was furious. Luckily, a cleaning staff helped him during the escape, but too many people chased after him. Jae Hoon saw that so he divided the document into three parts and told to meet at the main hall. But in the end, Byun Hyuk still couldn't escape his father's hands. He has never seen a son like this. Not only stole father's investment documents, but he also intended to hand them over to the police. Unexpectedly before he left the company, he was arrested on the spot. Son of a bitch, are you betraying me? Byun Hyuk hoped father could stop. If he continued to operate this way, sooner or later, the corporation will go bankrupt and destroy the whole family. But he did it because he wanted to leave more property to his children and handed the company over to them to inherit. But Byun Hyuk didn't want to inherit the company he built in a dirty way. You are no longer my son from now. No matter what, I will always love you. Seeing his son like that, the chairman felt sorrow, but he still told someone to arrest Byun Hyuk. At this time, Chiol Men appeared and said that someone had reported to the police about the office being stolen. Byun Hyuk quickly raised his hand to surrender. He and Jae Hoon raised their hands to face the glare. And at the important moment, Baek Jin also arrived and then three people were taken away. The chairman became furious. Not only couldn't arrest the person, but also couldn't get the documents. He quickly called everyone for help, but no one volunteered to help. Not long after, the police came and took away all related documents. 
The news quickly reported about their group. When he was about to be taken away by the police, he saw his son standing outside the door. Having a son like this, the chairman was furious and scolded him. Byun Hyuk was scared and ran down to the first floor and caught his brother. Seeing his furious, Byun Hyuk quickly advised his brother to return to the right path, but Woo Sung didn't intend to repent. Even though he was heartbroken, Byun Hyuk still tried to act strong. Until he went outside and saw Jae Hoon and Baek Joon were waiting for him at the gate, he finally couldn't control his emotions and burst into tears. The three of them hugged each other. After Madam found out, she hid her husband and arranged to meet her son. Even though she knew her husband had done many wrong things, he still blamed Byun Hyuk for not being so cruel and sending his father to prison. Byun Hyuk really felt sorry for his father, but he had no other choice. On this side, Although the chairman was extremely disappointed in his son, he still hoped that Byun Hyuk could walk the path of life in his own way. After Baek Joon stopped working as a cleaner, she prepared to live the life she always dreamed of. At the same time, she completed the procedures to go abroad without even telling Byun Hyuk. Byun Hyuk also relied on his efforts to no longer be a useless person in everyone's eyes. After comprehensive reform, the company is getting better. In the evening, Byun Hyuk called Baek Joon because he set a policy for employees to get off work on time, so Byun Hyuk had to work overtime to complete the remaining work. So Baek Joon, can you come help me? After finishing work, Baek Joon went to Byun Hyuk's office. After a tiring day of work, he overslept on the chair without knowing it. Baek Joon quietly looked at the man who had changed because of her. Although her footsteps were light, but it was enough to wake Byun Hyuk. Baek Joon was that you? To celebrate 180 days of he and Baek Joon knowing each other, Byun Hyuk carefully planned by himself, but unexpectedly Jae Hoon saw and laughed at him. Byun Hyuk felt that the time of acquaintance wasn't important, the understanding was the most important. Looking at the cake Byun Hyuk designed, Jae Hoon immediately said that was the style Baek Joon hated the most. After talking for a while, Byun Hyuk felt that he still didn't intend to give up Baek Joon. Why should I give up on her? Being friends with you is one thing, pursuing Baek Joon is another thing. Hearing this, Byun Hyuk started to get jealous. The next thing that happened would make him even more difficult to accept. Baek Joon suddenly came to invite Jae Hoon out. Seeing the closest two of them, Byun Hyuk once again smelled danger. Actually, Jae Hoon just wanted to take Baek Joon to see new house. Because after she left, he had no reason to live in that area anymore. Even though they've been together for a long time, in the end, they still couldn't be together. As long as Baek Joon was happy, it was all worth it. Jae Hoon felt like she should talk to Byun Hyuk about going abroad, but Baek Joon didn't know what to say because she hadn't determined when she would return. Moreover, Byun Hyuk is trying to run the company, I really don't want to mix up everything. On this side, Byun Hyuk stood waiting for Baek Joon, in front of the gate, suddenly saw Yun Hee and Chiyo Min, holding hands and leaving. Looking at their happiness, thinking about Baek Joon and Jae Hoon were coming back, immediately got jealous. When he got home, he saw Byun Hyuk clearly jealous. Jae Hoon also had to laugh, then told him about Baek Joon preparing to go abroad. Byun Hyuk was really angry when hearing the news, he even ignored Baek Joon's apology. Byun Hyuk, I will really miss you. The next day, when Baek Joon prepared to leave, she received a phone call from Jae Hoon asking about her, but until the plane was going to take off, she still didn't see him. She also called him, but Byun Hyuk didn't answer the phone. Before the plan took off, Baek Joon still tried to call him on the last call. She couldn't expect that Byun Hyuk was waiting for her on the plane. No matter where you go, I will always be there with you. That is the meaning of existence. Okay, this is the end of the movie. Please take 3 seconds to subscribe to the channel to support us. Thank you for watching our channel. See you in the next movie. Today's episode ends here. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.